Have you ever bought a rock candy sugar crystal from a candy store? Do you ever wonder how they make the sugar rock candy crystals? Look no further than this video. Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own sugar crystal. So let's get started. First, take some water, enough to fill about two thirds of a glass. Then, put it in a boiling pan. Boil the water and as the water keeps heating up, add sugar until the water is super saturated with the sugar. As you can see there, we were just adding in the sugar. Right now, we're stirring the water and sugar so that it dissolves faster. Once you start to see sugar in the liquid that's not dissolving, after a few minutes, that means that you have a super saturated solution. Make sure that those pieces of sugar that don't dissolve in the water don't get into your glass later on. Once you have your super saturated solution, you can add food coloring like I did if you like. Once you have your super saturated solution this way, put it into the refrigerator to cool. I've left the solution of sugar and water overnight in the refrigerator. As you can see now, it's very thick, which is very good because that is another sign that shows that it's saturated. Now, we're going to make the seed for our sugar crystal. Get a plate, a skewer, and a little bit of sugar. Then, put sugar on the plate. Take your skewer and dip it into your water and sugar solution for a few seconds. Take it out and roll it around in the sugar. What we're doing here is we're making a seed for the sugar crystal to grow. Once you've made it like this, leave it on the plate until it becomes a hard crystal. The seed for the sugar crystal has hardened, so let's put it into the glass. To hold the seed of the sugar crystal, you can use clothespin to let it rest on the rim of the glass. Make sure that the bottom of the seed doesn't touch the bottom of the glass, otherwise it will stick on the bottom when the crystal forms. Leave it in the glass until you can see the sugar crystal is big enough. It's been three days now, and since the solution of water and sugar is so saturated, the crystals form. So let's check it out. Look at that. It's definitely quite a bit bigger. If you're happy with the size of your crystal, you can leave it in an empty glass so that all the liquid still on the crystal will drip off. Or if you want to make a bigger crystal, you can put it back into the glass. Before you eat it, let's check out how the crystal form. We've already made the crystal, right? But do you know how the crystal was made? Since the water is saturated with sugar, when the water starts to evaporate, the sugar's gotta go somewhere, right? It either has to stick to the bottom or cling to a seed. Since we made a seed, the sugar clings to the seed. The water keeps evaporating and more sugar keeps clinging to the seed. So that's how the crystal was made. Enjoy your sugar crystal.